What's going on everybody? Well, this video should have been uh, produced and uploaded to the net um, earlier this week, but um, it wasn't because of the San Jose Sharks! Oh my gosh, guys! What a way to give everybody a heart attack. But you polished off the Red Wings, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, so we are two rounds into... Uh, it's been There's been two rounds uh, in the NHL playoffs. We now are in the conference finals. So this season, I've decided to give you my picks. Um, I, once again, there's a pattern going. Uh, like the first round, when I went 4-4, four and four, I went 2-2 two and two in the semifinals. Also, like in the first round, did better in the Western Conference compared to the Eastern Conference, which is kind of, I, I find kind of odd because I have a tendency to follow the Eastern Conference a little bit more because the Islanders play in the Eastern Conference, so... Uh, but I just kind of found that interesting. So going into the conference finals, I'm 6-6 six and six this last round. I got Vancouver over Nashville. San Jose finally got San Jose over Detroit. And I did not get uh, Washington over Tampa Bay. Didn't happen. And uh, Boston beat Vill uh, Philadelphia, unfortunately. Um, so in the conference finals, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Boston Bruins. And we have the Vancouver Canucks versus the San Jose Sharks. So here are my picks for the conference finals. Start with the Eastern Conference. Now, uh, bef now throughout these playoffs, I've been giving you uh, which teams do I want to uh, to see go uh, to the Stanley Cup Finals. Well, I don't really want to see Tampa Bay or Boston go to the finals, uh, but since they are matched up, here's who I would rather see out of the two. I would rather see the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, first off, uh, the last thing that the New England and Boston area needs need right now that's is another Boston team going to a championship round I mean this whole Boston thing has exploded uh, you know I was okay with the Patriots but then the Red Sox broke the curse and then it really kind of got out of hand a couple years ago when the Celtics won the championship the MLS revolution got to the MLS Cup uh, Boston uh, the Red Sox continued to be a force the Patriots continue to be the, a force. I mean, and if you want to take it a step further, even uh, the colleges around the Boston area are doing well. Um, in 2007, Boston College was ranked, I think, two, uh, second or third in the in football at one point. Um, and Boston University, uh, it's either Boston University or Boston College. I can't remember which one it is, but uh, they have won the uh, they've won and have succeeded in the Frozen Four tournament. That's uh, that's the NCAA hockey tournament. So the last thing they need, the last thing we need is to have the Bruins go to the finals. Um, so, because uh, Boston fans are extremely obnoxious right now, and I'm kind of waiting for this phase, kind of this fad to go down a little bit. But, uh, I mean, unless you're a diehard Bruin fan and you've been waiting for this for a long time, you've been waiting for your team, you know, in the 80s and the 70s and maybe 90s. I mean, I, I, don't, have problem. I, I don't have a problem with that. I have, I have a problem with all these people who are now saying, oh, I'm a Boston fan because every single team, pretty much every single team is winning right now. So I would rather see the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's the first reason why I like to see the Tampa Bay Lightning. The second reason, I um, somewhere, I do have Nate Thompson's autograph. And um, Nate Thompson, as I said before, is a former Seattle Thunderbird. And it would be kind of cool to say that, he played in the Stanley Cup Final. I have uh, Oleg Saprikin, who's no longer playing in the NHL, but I have his autograph. Um, you know, when and he went to the finals uh, twice, unfortunately didn't win it. So that's the uh, for second reason. And the third reason is, as I said before, I like Dwayne, Dwayne Rollison. Once again, not because he's a former New York Islander, but because this guy knows when to get hot. He knows when to play. You know, that, that playoff run with Edmonton was, a, was very good. And, you know, if he does go to the finals, it kind of would be cool to see him finish out the run because he got hurt in game one when it was Edmonton versus Carolina in uh, 2006. Um, so uh, so that would be kind of cool. So I have the Tampa Bay Lightning over the Boston Bruins. In the Western Conference, now this is very tricky for me because if you remember the first video I did regarding the NHL playoffs, I said I would like to see either, in this order, Vancouver, number one, or San Jose, number two, going to the Stanley Cup Finals. And lo and behold, they are going to be in the Western Conference Finals. Um, I'm okay with whoever wins this. I got reasons to root for Vancouver. I got reasons to root for San Jose. Overall, I'm okay. 
However, I'm going to go with the Canucks. As much as I would love to see Patrick Marlowe, former Seattle Thunderbird, go to the finals, um, I'm going to go with the Canucks for this reason. The Sharks have a tendency to collapse, and they almost collapsed against Detroit. And so that being said, Vancouver's has had five days off compared to uh, San Jose's two. They'll have two days off, and one of them will be a travel day, so that's not going to help their cause. Uh, plus, um, the atmosphere around Seattle, if you listen to Sports Talk Radio, um, KJR is broadcasting Canuck games, and people are calling in from Vancouver. Sports journalists are calling in from Vancouver, so it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not like you know the, the city has stopped and you know just focusing on the Canucks, but they are acknowledging the Canucks in the playoffs because Seattle. I mean, there there is a small hockey fan base here that's really not that big, but you know we all have different teams. Some people like the Canucks because they're local. Uh, they're only three hours away from Seattle. Other people, they like their, I mean, I met a lot of Red Wings fans. I met some San Jose Shark fans. And this is just Seattle. This is just Seattle. Um, uh, Ranger fans, Chicago fans. So it pretty much is up in the air. But KJR is, uh, the. you know, if you listen to KJR, they are covering hockey, which is awesome. And uh, a lot of people in Seattle are calling in right now. So I'm going to go with the Vancouver Canucks. The one thing I do think San Jose has that Vancouver doesn't have is a better goaltender. I do think Niemi is, in my opinion, underrated. Uh, you know, this is a guy who won the Stanley Cup last year. Very few people talk about him. I don't think he's on the top five lists of goaltenders right now. I think he could be there. But, you know, Niemi, he, you know, if it had been for him, you know, the, the Sharks could have easily collapsed against Detroit. And Luongo, for some odd reason, has a tendency to play well until the last two minutes of the game, and that's when he gives away the goals. I've seen that actually happen, and that's not only just happened in the regular season in the playoffs, but it also happened in the Olympics as well. So, but overall, I'm going to go with the Canucks. I'm okay with the Sharks winning, but my pick is the Vancouver Canucks. So, I have the Tampa Bay Lightning in the Eastern Conference and the Vancouver Canucks in the Western Conference. We'll see how I do. Um, like I've said, I'm now at 500. I went 2-2 two and two in, the, in the semifinals, 4-4 four and four in the quarterfinals, giving me an overall record of 6-6. Six and six. So we'll see how we'll see what happens. So, uh, go Lightning, go Canucks, and Sharks. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of odd because I would rather. I mean, I really don't mind whoever wins that series. So, all right. Well, we'll talk to you all later, and uh, love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and comment below. We'll talk to you uh, next time uh, on probably Sunday or Monday, depending on what Central Washington does uh, throughout the tournament, and uh, we'll recap. Uh, we'll preview the Stanley Cup Finals when they happen. So. We'll talk to you all later, and thanks for watching.